So let's start Singapore the Melon Soda the session. And today's hashtag is Lactan Tech, so please tweet this tag and please check this tag. And today we have two stories. First story is Singapore, and this story is Singapore Startup Challenge. And second story is Melon Soda. And this is a uh, open source. Uh, open source material, so please hear this session. Uh, I think this session's name is Little Strange, but this is our activity. Uh, first is Singapore activity, and second is Melon Soda activity. And we are Open Services Platform members, so this session's common keyword is uh, Open services platform. So, firstly, I want to explain about the open services platform mission. Do you know this chart? This is a Lacten ecosystem. Lacten based on this ecosystem. I want to explain about this chart. Lacten has also many services e-commerce and credit card and banking and travel. And Lacte have so many users. Uh, if a user use Lacte Ichiba, a user will book in Lacte Travel, not Jara and not HIS. It is a good business model, I think. So we want to expand this Lacte ecosystem, but there are so many space, and there are so many people who don't use Lacten. Many space. So we want to open our data and our service to SMS, uh, to Facebook, Twitter line. We open review data and open bookmark. And for partner companies, we open affiliate system and advertising tag. And for developers like you, we open our API. So today I want to speak this section and this section. So let's start Singapore story. Uh, firstly, I want to explain about me. Uh, my name is Furusho Yuko. I joined Lak10 2009. And uh, he is uh, David Jacob. He joined Lak10 2012. We are producer of Lacten Web Service and Lacten APIs. So now I am promote, uh, I am promoting Lacten API in Japan, and uh, he is promoting in overseas. Uh, this is uh, Singapore session schedule. Um, first, I explain API team's mission, and second is what is Lacten API, and uh, third Lacten API event. And lastly, we explain about the Singapore Startup Challenge. Lastly, our mission. I explain about this section. Uh, in detail, it's here. Um, we provide to developers uh, Lacten API and Lacten data. And developers create application with using Lacten API, like this. And this application make new user of Lacten. This is our mission. So I said many times, Lacten API, Lacten API. Do you know Lacten API? And this is a Lacten API lineup. Um, we provide Lacten Ichiba API, Lacten Auction API, and Lacten Books API, and Gora API, Travel API, and Lacten Recipe API. There are so many APIs. And we are providing these APIs on Lacten web service. So please access this URL if you have a PC. This is a Lacten web service site. In this side, we provide Lacten API documentation. This is a 
the Panini document, but we prepare English document. Oh, sorry. English document. And uh, not only the APIs, we provide some tools. Like <coughs> API test home. If you can use this API test home, you can test API very easily. Please use it. And uh, <coughs> we have we provide SDK. So please check it. Uh, SDK is on GitHub. And I back to pro uh, presentation. Uh, next, I want to explain about the Lacte API event. I have a question for you. Um, are you using Lacte API? Please, if you use Lacte API, hands up. Oh, very few people. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> we want to increase. Uh, we want to increase a pair of Lacte API. So, I think uh, your idea and Lacte API can innovative, useful, fun application, like uh, this application. So uh, from uh, 2000 to 13, we start uh, hackathon event and workshop event. For low-level developers, we hold, uh, we had a peer workshop to teach how to use Lacta API. And uh, for high-level high developers, uh, we had a hackathon event to promote the Lacta APIs. Uh, this is the API event activities in 2013. Uh, this is a uh, API workshop picture. And this is a affiliate song. This hackathon is focused on affiliate. And um, recently we had student hackathon. And in autumn, um, I went to so many places, Tokyo, Tokushima, Okinawa, Nagoya, Osaka, and Kyoto with my shop award. Uh, we promote Lacta API and uh, we te I teach the Lacta API, so many places. Uh, this is a result of a <coughs> promotion in Japan. After this activity, innovative, uh, useful, and fun applications are developed. So please take a look. Explain Singapore project. Okay. So this is the Singapore Startup Challenge part of the talk. I'm going to talk a little bit about the concept and the planning, uh, and then the details about <coughs> what we did, and then the results. The Singapore Startup Challenge was an affiliate commission <coughs> contest, where the developers were able to combine their ideas with our APIs. And then when customers made purchases through their websites, then the developers received a percentage of the sales as a commission. We monitored the sales figures of this and used that to decide who was the winner of the contest. Uh, one way to state the mission of our team is to support the Rakuten ecosystem through supporting third-party developers. Um, as you know, Rakuten is uh, growing overseas fairly aggressively, um, but as Furusha-san mentioned, so far we'd only held events, API workshops, and hackathons inside of Japan. So we needed to globalize our team's support effort. We chose Singapore because they have a growing startup scene there and there's also a growing base of experienced web developers. Uh, we noticed though that there was a lack of competing hackathons and other software engineering contests, so we felt we could fill that, that need a little bit. Um, and lastly, the Singapore consumers were already making a lot of purchases on our Japanese marketplace, 
so our brand was known in that country. So our Singapore office recruited 10 local experienced web developers. We felt that local web developers would have the best idea of what local consumers would want to buy. Um, the developers chose what items to feature from our massive marketplace, uh, all the listings on there. They chose which items they thought would sell best. We started planning this at the end of the spring. Um, launched it formally in June and announced the winners at the end of September. <clears throat> so while the Singapore office worked on recruiting and publicity here in Tokyo with my teammates, we worked on the technical side of things. Uh, the first problem that we encountered was that our API documentation was only available in Japanese. You may know that the internal official language of Rakuten is English, but uh, so far we had been targeting only Japanese developers, so our online documentation was only in Japanese. To re resolve this problem, we chose a few APIs that we thought would be most useful to the developers in this contest and translated them, put the English version on our website next to the Japanese version. The second big challenge that we encountered was that because the source data for most of our APIs is the Japanese language uh, content on our various Rakuten Japanese websites, the responses from our APIs were also only available in Japanese. But the Singapore consumers are not going to understand what this means. The common language in Singapore is also English. So, in order to solve this problem, um, we couldn't very well translate uh, manually even a, a small part of the 100 million items that we have listed on our marketplace. So, we had to resort to the somewhat imperfect solution of a machine translation. In this case, we used Microsoft Bing Translator Widget. After we solved these problems and some other ones, uh, we put together uh, working kind of proof of concept, very bare bones sample code using JavaScript and jQuery CSS. Then a senior engineer from the team uh, and I went down to Singapore to work with the developers one on one and uh, in person and also to enjoy some of the wonderful food there. So we met with the developers at our Singapore office and we held a series of, of workshops there where we explained how to use our APIs and why they would want to use our APIs. And then we ran some mini hackathons where we distributed the sample code that we had prepared and then asked them to modify it, customize it, combine it with an idea of theirs to make it their own. This was the result of one of those, just a very simple customization. They changed the API so that it only returned French shoes. They used some CSS and an image to give a little bit of character to the page. Then in, in June, we formally launched the contest and we put this web page up where we could track uh, which developer was in the lead. And again, as sales came in through their websites, then we added points to their scores on the site. We also continue to support them one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, this is an actual support session with one of those engineers and one of those developers in English. Uh, of course, we also speak Japanese, but our team also speaks Chinese and Thai and Hindi. So we're a fairly international team. At the end of September, we announced the results. This was the site that had the second most sales, J Fash. Obviously, uh, they were promoting Japanese fashion, mainly ladies' Japanese fashion, and they were combining their content with the results from our APIs. The site with the most sales was Supercat, uh, promoting Japanese pop culture in Singapore and they were combining, again, their articles that they wrote 
with data from our APIs. A few of the actual items that people bought through this contest, there were some hobby purchases, and people bought some shoes, but it turned out that ladies' fashion was the most popular category, so it's definitely an area for a lot of growth in Singapore. Once we announced the winners, we uh, gave them trips to Tokyo and some other prizes, and now we're working on other overseas activities, so I hope that those of you here in this room and those of you watching online will, will come and join us. So we open Lacten services and Lacten data. So we are here for you and we support any developers and every time and everywhere. So please access the site and if you are interested in Lacten API, please contact us. Thank you. And uh, today uh, we have two good news for Lacten API users. Uh, but there are so many, uh, <laughs> few API users, <laughs> but uh, I have two news. Uh, first is, uh, we Ooh. release uh, Ruby SDK, and uh, uh, the other, uh, we prepare, uh, uh, we, we provide uh, a PHP SDK. So if you are Ruby or PHP user, please use this one. Uh, uh, we upload uh, this SDK on GitHub. And we this API analytics. Um, this is a uh, uh, analytics function of uh, your API request call and uh, your affiliate fee analytics. Uh, you, can, you can access from webservice.lactensio.jp uh, if you want to money. Please access it. <laughs> and uh, are you finished our session? And uh, if you're interested in the API, please follow this account. Thank you. <laughs> so next session is Melon Soda. <laughs> <laughs> hello everyone and uh, hello Melon Soda Man. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is Sayer Hoshikawa, and I want to introduce about Melon Soda in this session. First, about me, my nickname is Hoshipi, so please call me Hoshipi. And I'm mainly in charge of front side ads of Lactan Affiliate. I joined Lactan in 2011 as a new graduate, and since then, I develop other contents. And today, I want to, to introduce of something using melon soda. So we created an application which changes the suggestions by the conditions on the client side. For example, if you are a girl, we will suggest sweet, but if you are a boy, so it means not uh, you are a girl, we will suggest a game this time is Monster Hunter, like this. By creating many conditions and suggestions, we can offer the best one for the audience. And the value of us become higher. So to realize it, we have two wishes. One is everyone, including non-engineers, can understand the logic. And second is quickly changing logic. Why this need is needed? First, everyone, including non-engineers, can understand the logic. It's very important because if they can't understand the logic, Salesperson asks us what the null logic is, and we answer them, this is null, and they want to change logic, so please, and us, and we, are all, we answer, yes, we do, but it takes too much time and too much communication, but if they can understand the logic, they can change by themselves, it is very good. And the second wish is, is quickly changing, changing logic. We want to make everyday cycle quickly to achieve the goal. First try, second try, try third. To grow accuracy to needs, we have to, yes, and if the trial period is short, we can achieve the goal in short period. But if the trial time is long, we can't achieve long in the same time. 
So to realize this wishes, we made melon soda. You know, maybe you look, this is cream soda. Actually, I want to name this name cream soda, but GitHub account is al already reserved. So <laughs> I changed the name from cream soda to melon soda. But our melon soda image is this. <laughs> I want to explain about the architecture. This is melon soda material. First is in menu. And this is a uh, salesperson also can understand the logic. This is for chat. And I see it and the melon soda virtual machine. First, we pass menu to parser. And the parser create ice. We call, we name class ice as ice. And the parser will ice put into this order like condition one and uh, suggestion A and condition two, suggestion B, suggestion C, like this. And then ice will melt into melon soda virtual machine. Melt. <laughs> melt is a function of ice. <laughs> so <laughs> ice will melt into virtual machine. And condition two go to met. Solution B is also met, and solution C is met. And then virtual machine can find out the result. And uh, virtual machine also can hold the information of decided result. Like first condition one is go to virtual machine. They can hold the information of ice. And by using this data, they can also find out ice. So if you use melon soda, the change logic is very easy. And even if salesperson can understand the logic and can change logic by themselves, and so many callbacks will disappear and become readable and fixable source code. And what I'm happy is no more long source code changes are needed. And to do tuning way is also need. So it means we can do a B test cycle quickly. But maybe you can't imagine. So let's demo melon soda. As I in break time, please tweet these answers. Are you ready? <laughs> okay. So this is a flow chart for demo. This is menu. As I, I ex explain, and this is not huge finish is one ice, and another huge price is all side. So this is nine ices in this page. Then I want to answer. I want to announce the answer of question one. The question one answer is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, melon. And the and question one prize is soda. <laughs> question one winner is koi uh, koi. Hey. Oh, very yeah. good. Very good. Thank you.
ソートさん。ウェイソートさん。I fix this was c o m e Sorry for it. Okay, then check the result. Two, one, three. Yes. Two. Then change. Oh, 
one to three. Yes, like this. This is so easy right. to change. Okay, let's go back to my presentation. <laughs> okay. So let's go back. Actually, what I talked below is by by dry. So because we didn't have satisfaction before melon soda. We means this member. <laughs> it includes Melon Soda Man. And Alit is a Chinese girl who entered last year. And Ageo is uh, actually he. is also a developer of Melon Soda. And Freddy is, Freddy is my senior. And the rest of mine is uh, actually not our team member. He's <laughs> 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 And then we went to development camp to Atami. And power up, melon soda was powered up. This is power up function. First is nested project, second is first argument, and third is nested and the fourth is pluggable ice. What is nested project? This is before melon soda. Before melon soda, you can understand only simple logic, but if it is power up, you can understand such a complicated logic. And uh, new melon soda can understand sequential line too. This is a logic of nested flowchart. Vertical line connects ICs based on characters index. And the horizon line connects adjoining ICs. So parser creates a binary tree called cone tree. Each ice is placed on one cone. The image is like this. <laughs> And second is first arguments. I can get first arguments before melon soda have to, to create ice if you do this logic. But after power up, they can get first argument and the uh, ice become only one from two. So it means less ice. And the third is npm install. Melon soda is downloaded by npm install. And you can create ice by yourself. It is in, it is pluggable now. At last, we will make Melon Soda open source code in near future. So if you are interested, in, please read interest is hashtag Melon1026. <laughs> I sent you the announcement of Melon Soda Night, which is an event of Melon Soda. I hope you also enjoying development Melon Soda. In conclusion, and like this, our open source this platform section <laughs> is uh, make uh, many applications to expand the ecosystem. So if you are interested in, please join us and let's develop it together. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Please raise your hand. No question? Okay. I see uh, this config file is only text file. Is correct? No. Uh, any file? file? Config file, file. Yes. Is there any GUI to, to config? Oh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we are preparing now. Yes. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Any other questions? Feel free to ask in Japanese too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just curious, how many conditions are there usually used for these cases? 
can make a forever, but actually in our usually, team, usually, yeah, yeah. usually we make just like this one, one, two, six or eight this time because it, this is not the now Melon Soda version, but in the future, if you Melon Soda, we can use Melon Soda Power version. We want to do more, make more conditions, and uh, make more good one. Yeah, I asked it because uh, still in Melon Soda, in the text-based configuration, is a bit difficult when the condition is more than 100 or more than 200, yeah, so many. So, as he mentioned, the GUI, GUI version can be useful for this, for the first version. Just yeah. my idea. Yeah, thank you. And you can also join us and do it. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> let's make more melon soda more useful. Useful. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Any other question? May we see the config file format one more time for the menu format? Can I take it? Yes. So, okay. So you have uh, the first condition, outcome, outcome, and it has to conform to that, to that, uh, like vertical bar. Is that a tab that sets, separates the vertical bar from the front, from the first line? Like is that space? Are those spaces? And is that strictly adhered to? Is there? Yeah. You're asking about the white space. Yeah, the white space. Yeah. Does, does the white space have a, have a meaning? Does it have to be uh, spaces no. or tabs? Uh, For if if because oh if at this point if we wanted to use melon soda we would be hand coding these config files right now because there's no GUI right. Yes. Yeah. Right. So that yeah. means that in order to do that correct format, like what, how, what's the, how do you conform to the format so that it will be interpreted correctly yes, by uh, Melon Soda yes. API? Uh, so currently, you must uh, implement if you want to uh, input uh, complicated logic, yeah. yeah, you must type many spaces. Okay. <laughs> 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 そう、スペースなのか、タブじゃない。スペースじゃないといけないのか、タブでもいいのか、スペースなくてもいいのかだったらどういうことですか。あ、め、あ、スペース。スペースオーバー。ワン、うん、じゃスペースユニット。ユース